Inside Gaming is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Why haven't you gotten a VPN yet? Go to expressvpn.com slash inside. Howdy there, folks. You're probably thinking to yourself right now, where's my gaming news? Well, the folks over at Inside Gaming felt entitled to a small break for the holidays. So what we have for you instead today is a little show that aired on something called Rooster Teeth Television. And that show is Big Mother Crab Truckers. Now if you're not familiar with Big Mother Crab Truckers, it's a one-page RPG about crabs like myself who drive truck. So please sit back and enjoy Big Mother Crab truckers. The crabs are back in town, baby. Autumn's character, Big Bertha, you may, you may remember as the, the loud mouth, uh, <laughs> who talks like this, smokes a lot of cigarettes, has got a serious attitude problem. Uh, she's the lifter of the group. A coconut crab, if we could show Bertha. Ooh, there yeah. she is. It also Big looks right on the sound cue. Girl. Blin, what is the name of your crab? Uh, my name is Bidet Fromage, and I am a blue crab from the swamps of Louisiana. Hold on, let me... Hold on. From there, I got a what green light. The swamps of Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fighter. <laughs> you're also you're also skilled in a uh, hush puppy, which is uh, sneaking. It's stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you learned it. Fan boat and wrestling. Wrestling gators. <laughs> That's right. Gator wrestling. <laughs> I'm sure they all come in handy. And uh, Andrew, what, what, tell me, tell us about your crab. Well, my my crab's name is a. Uh, Baby Teeth Briscoe. I'm a uh, Florida stone crab. No, you're known for your uh, driving skills, but you're, al you're also heavily resistant to meth, crystal meth. That's right. You're very good at cleaning guns, and you are a best-selling uh, writer of self-published trucker-themed erotica. That is correct, yes. <laughs> so, oh <my> God. <laughs> I can't read, but if I could, that's what I'd be reading. <laughs> so, uh, the last time we saw Big Bertha, you were pulled underground after killing a snake. Those and snakes made me so goddamn angry. <laughs> oh yeah, what were your skills? It was, uh, I have them right here, but I know it was stupid. Stupid. Uh, smoking? Uh, smoking, I believe, was one of the skills, yeah. And um, rage. Right, that was that, yeah. And then of course, if we could show the crab goddess really quick, that is uh, her worshipful highness that we all adore. Ah, what a She's gorgeous. mother She's gorgeous. She's royalty. Big Bertha, you tumble through the earth and uh, dead snake still in hand. You crash to the ground and uh, you find yourself in kind of a large sinkhole cavernous area. What the f is this? Two more crabs, both adorned in trucker gear, much like yourself, uh, kind of scuttle up to you. <laughs> How do you do, miss? I, I'm used to many craw daddies, but I ain't seen no craw mamas. Nice to meet you. Where the f did you come from? We're <laughs> under the ground, goddammit. Crabs don't live under the goddamn ground. <laughs> How do you do, ma'am? How, how, how are you? I can smell by your cigarette. That's a menthol sky dancer. That's real nice. I right. appreciate we got a, Hundreds. We got a real trucker on our hands down here. I can see that. I reach out to shake her with my crab, crab hand, but it has been replaced with a crescent wrench because I lost my crab claw in a uh, fan boating accident. Bertha puts a cigarette back into her wrap. And she reaches out with her giant claw, and she takes the hand and she grips it as hard as she possibly can to see what this man is made out of. Turns out, made out of 
metal because it's a goddamn bridge. I That's am right. an amputee. That is correct. <laughs> you look around. There aren't really any trucks in sight. It's kind of just a freeway that stretches out in front of you into the darkness. Nah, I'm sorry. I used to have a truck, but I, I lost it in a game. Yeah, I lost it in a poker match. Bet it all. Bet my rig. That's right, he was done in, uh, he was gambling on a riverboat, and that's how we met. I have his truck, but it is in New Orleans. I don't know what the f New Orleans is, but all I know is we gotta get a goddamn truck, and we gotta get to our crib goddess, alright? Oh uh, no, perhaps we can just walk the first step to our long and arduous journey. As you, uh, start walking, you kind of hear, sort of hear some kind of, like, like a wailing in the distance, uh. I would like to go investigate. The way the noises of the swaling. As you move forward, you start to see uh, cr empty crab shells <laughs> littered around the place. They're all kind of there's there's some in cages hanging from the, the ceiling. It looks almost like a, a prison or something that you've kind of wandered into. What the absolute f is this? I am quite nervous. I do not want to die. Perhaps I can find the source for why these crabs are dead, our fellow brethren. A oh, crab that isn't crab mamas. I got uh, an idea. I take my lighter <laughs> and I light my cigarette until it's blazing on fire using my smoking ability. And I throw it out deep into the tunnel, trying to shed a little bit of light on the situation. You know what I'm saying? Roll 3d8s. All right, I can't do math. 11. The cigarette flies out in front of you and you see uh you see the source of the whales and it's crabs and it's it's like a torture chamber almost there's crabs on on racks there's crabs with claws missing they're just oh uh, is there anyone alive that I can talk to and see if I can help them with my crescent wrench claw to free them from their imprisonment? There, there are a few living crabs. They're pretty badly hurt. I'd love to talk to them. What do you say? Oh, I say, my friends, what happened? How did you get into such a predicament? But I'm not happy even though I just laughed. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah. They're like, oh, he fell down this f hole. He just got grabbed immediately. I didn't, didn't see what it was. And next thing you know, I'm rack and dipped into hot butter. Lemon, lemon butter, so it stings. <laughs> Nearby, but not not quite near enough to get to power through any of you. A, a large mole, those gross like star noses, emerges from the earth. And, uh, oh my god! As he does so, he he smashes through one of the uh, the tortured crab that you that's, were talking to. That's what the M in BDSM stands for, mole. Hold on a mother. Second, <laughs> Big Bertha used to be a lot lizard. I've seen this because <laughs> of these goddamn kinky ass molds. <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> angry, mother. <laughs> uh, I take my giant <laughs> claw with the cigarette and pummel it directly into his disgusting, starry nose. Uh, 14? Oh, that's that's more than enough. Grab your cigarette and kiss you, push it in his eye, and he's like, Whee! He's not dead or anything. He's in some serious pain right now. May, may I offer, uh, you know, this seems, this fellow seems like he's awfully angry. And I was wondering maybe if I could just read him some of my trucker themed erotica, maybe that yeah. would calm him down. <laughs> yeah. This is from uh, Rick Johnson and the 18 Wheels of Desire. When Rick came back to his truck, the door was open. Sitting inside of the cab was Jessie, the prettiest girl working at the abandoned pizza hut they turned into an all night diner. She had everything. Hair the color of day-old coffee, most of her teeth and legs that went all the way down to a pair of Cabela sandals with built-in bottle openers. I can he I hear you're hauling a big load, she cooed. The words leaked past a capri. I took one sip of my Bill Miller's iced tea and threw her on the ground. Before I knew it, she unbuckled my dungarees and I whisked off her Denny's uniform. My vape rig wasn't the only thing bulging in my pants. Well, I'll leave it there. I don't want to. I don't want to. No, really I don't want to get anybody to. Uh, too hot oh, bothered. Gotta do it. I gotta say, roll 3d8s. Oh, that's oh great. He's more embarrassed because he's now a little even more turned on than he was before. He's a little more relaxed now if you want to try to talk to him or whatever you want to do. Yeah. I'd like to question him. I want to I want to find out why he's he's hell bent on torturing all these crabs. Our, our brethren, Mr. BDSM, BDS mole. Um, <laughs> why? Why do you find it so necessary to torture us crabs? We're normally peaceful people who are actually only interested in hauling uh, goods from one side of this nation to the other in a truck, which we have uh, yet to find. He's like, well, I don't want to be doing this, but you know, he makes me. Uh, There's a malefactor. Who may I ask is making you do such atrocities? Well, Geppetto. Oh, 
What kind of a name is that? <laughs> Did you say some kind of pedo was involved? I don't like that one. Joe pedo. Joe pedo. Oh, oh. Geppetto just about the boss of everything down here. Mr. Mole, I gotta ask you, where does this Mr. Geppetto reside in these tunnels? Right there in the center. <sighs> Maybe a cardinal okay. direction or a point would help us more in this situation. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> if you head back the way you came, you'll notice a small crick running through the tunnels. You cross that crick, should lead you back, uh, Geppetto way. Well, boys, are we, uh, we going to this man's life up? I think we gotta find this, uh, this malefactor, the one who's been, uh, pulling the strings. I agree. Generally, I, agree I am, uh, I am not one to stray off the path of the crab goddess, but, uh, we cannot let this, uh, injustice go on too much longer. That's right. Uh, so you cross that creep. Do we use a fan boat? Oh, so sorry. I know how to operate it. Yeah, there's a, there's very conveniently, uh, <laughs> Uh, there happens to be a fan boat <laughs> underground. Friends, I have this under control. Follow me. <laughs> kind of smashing into rocks, turning around <laughs> quite a bit. I said, this one's rusty, not like the one I have in the swamps. Uh, but you successfully cross the creek and you find yourself uh, in a kind of a makeshift uh, village of other crabs and what have you, other underground dwellers. But a kind of shanty town. I noticed that uh, uh, you had some candy on that fan boat. We could offer it to one of these kids to come uh, on the fan boat and tell us about this. <laughs> This bad character that we're after. I think I that's think, a good, I think that's a great idea. Hey, little kid, do you want to come back to the fan boat and uh, have some candy and tell us uh, secrets? <laughs> uh oh. Clearly, uh, their mothers had a talk with him, and he uh, <laughs> he says absolutely not. Goes back to hanging. I would fair I would like to approach a <laughs> crab of equitable age to ourselves <laughs> and say hello fellow adult i do not want to offer you candy but i do want to ask what the hell is going on with this geppetto fella he's like oh keep your voice down bruv i have a very loud and raspy voice it's what i get for growing up on Bourbon street um what is going on with this geppetto fella all of us what fell down this hole we can't get out because of geppetto uh geppetto he's the boss around here runes things with an iron fist Word is, he's got the only functioning truck down here what could smash through the barriers, locking us all inside. Yeah, you get you get me. You're telling me Geppetto's got a truck. Now, see, that's something I know something about, because I'm a driver. I'm a truck oh, driver. Go. All right, big birth is getting angry and impatient. Mm -hmm. So she takes her claw and she grips the shopkeep in her claw and she says, Motherfucker, just tell us where this Geppetto fella is. Roll through the eight. Oh no. Ooh. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> your claw slips and you accidentally crush the shopkeeper. Oh, no. you're dead. <laughs> Not scaring him, but enraging pretty much everybody else uh, in the immediate area. I say, now calm down, everybody. I got plenty of beads for everyone from the Mardi Gras. I would like to try to help my group sneak out of this uncomfortable situation. So yeah, you're able to kind of scuttle away. Yeah, you actually somehow managed to sneak out and you kind of come to like a, a bridge. I think the most sensible option right now is to cross cross this here bridge. In front of you on the bridge steps a, jumps rather up. He's a long bearded crab, gray. He's like, <laughs> You wish to uh, cross this bridge? I did yeah, murder someone he's like, for lads. no reason. Tell me, friends. If you wish to cross this bridge, you must answer my riddle. Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> big <laughs> Bertha gets big <laughs> angry. This I was dumb. Do you think I can answer any goddamn riddle you're gonna give me? She takes her claw and she tries to He's like, punch him. That's kind of the whole point. <laughs> is that you won't let him answer it. Let's lift this mother. You lift him high in the air. Are you like dropping him off the side or what are you doing? Yeah, I'm throwing him off the bridge. As you do so, he's like, I come across this flat, but there's more to me than my surface. <laughs> You hear the first little piece of a riddle as he falls. Shut your goddamn <laughs> ass up! Are you just gonna walk towards the across the bridge? Uh, you walk forward and you you don't really see a you see kind of like a large concrete reinforced concrete. You know there's bound to be rebar in there. You can kind of see like light 
sort of shining through little cracks in it, but it's pretty sturdy. Between you and that wall, you just see you see the biggest goddamn CB radio you've ever seen in your life just kind of sitting on a table. You look around, you don't really see see much else going on. There's like a there's sort of a garage door in one corner. Other than that, it's just like a big empty space. Can I try to open the garage door? It's not locked or anything, so yes, you just open it. Um, inside you see a truck. All right, oh, we got a truck. Shit. I guess we don't I mean, even need to talk to like, you There's nothing stopping you. <laughs> Other than the fact that there's no key. As you realize this, you sort of hear the sound of the radio crackling to life, saying like, I'd recognize that garbled speech anywhere. That's trucker talk. <laughs> So we go talk to the radio. As you walk up to it, claws explode out of the side and you realize this CB radio has become some crab's home. He's adopted oh it as his, as his own shell. Oh, he's got oh, an no. eye stock sticking out of it, claws coming out, legs. He's like, who the f*** are you? Who the f*** are you, mother? <laughs> Geppetto. Well, uh, I'm uh, going, so I'm just going to hop in this truck <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Take my leave of uh, of your well of the establishment here. We don't have the key. God damn it, friend! <laughs> I want to like, use looking well, for this. Holds up the key. I want to use my wrestling ability to take that key from his claws, put them into my own. That's a sixteen. Oh Ooh. my god! I take his throat into my crescent wrench claw and I clamp it as tight as it could possibly go until his little peepers are starting to bulge. Like a yes. crab getting boiled to be served at Joe's Crab Shack. That's right. Um, keep keep talking. This is good stuff. This is definitely yeah. going in the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, and then I I take my good hand that's not a crescent wrench claw and then I I swipe that key and then I with the key scrape into his skull bidet fromage my name so he will remember the day he crossed me. He uh, falls to the floor gasping for air, but you have the key. I personally think, guys, that we should get in the car and run this guy over with this big ass truck. I do that cool thing where people toss the keys where they have it in one hand and then they use their other hand to stop it and then they go, Hut! And then it flies out like a yep. like a slingshot. Yep. I know exactly what you mean. I ca I catch them keys. Regulators mount up. We're out. <laughs> Yeah, boys, let's roll. <laughs> so you're all in the truck, and uh, if I could get from Blaine a 3D8 just for the uh, the driving, because this is going to take some precision steering to both run him over and hit that. Ten. Yeah, you f kill him. Why not? He looks up at the last minute, and he's like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, I'm I'm, I'm double clutching. I hit I hit that horn right here. Bam, bam. Give one of those because yeah. there are some kids. Those kids that we ran into earlier, they're doing that thing. Pull that little horn. Yeah, and <laughs> you've I, and done I, that about eight times now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I just I just I just gas it right through that little shanty town. You saw you're running over the shanty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just run over a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, we freed you, mother. <laughs> Corrugated metal yep, is flying yep. this way and that. Unintentionally ruining hundreds of lives <laughs> in the process. The trucker's I way. It. I love it.